Hey, so today we'll be exploring a Python based performance testing framework that I've been exploring recently. Uh, the site that's available on is locus.io. It's an open source framework which basically write, enables you to write performance testing for HTTP and non HTTP systems very easily. And you can even add an extra plugin if it's not already there, the support for the thing that you are trying to write it in. So like it's basically and then you can simply just import it and write it as easy as this. There are already some plugins available from the community like for Playwright, for Socket, Selenium, Kafka and you can add on more. On GitHub it's available at github.com slash locust io slash locust. So today we'll be primarily exploring a simple HTTP performance test right from here in the examples and later on we'll try a WebSocket test so let's just simply try the simple HTTP test I already copied it here same bit I'll just remove some of the request let me just tune it more because the local server that i'll be running it against doesn't have the post support already and i can add it but that's not the main thing that we're exploring in this video right now so just for the experimentation but let's just remove this so you don't need to and the first thing is like this dev on start this is actually to create that particular data that that we're trying to basically later on utilize don't need that so this will be randomly just logging in so basically like we can do these actions we don't need it here all right uh, we do need to pip install locust i already have it but if you don't like it'll give you something like this and then all we need to do is locust hyphen f then the file name of the test that you've written and we run it we'll start a web ui at 8089 i'll just copy it from here you can give it the number of users you want let's keep it thousand spawn rate that is the user started per second let's make it 100 so it'll take about 10 seconds to spawn all the users that we have and then the server so let's start the server for this piece okay so this is a normal http Thing that I've created primarily for this, this is open source on github.com slash abhishekya slash http 200 this primarily provides you several endpoints with several http codes status codes and then you can add on like dynamically on the runtime any specific response on a specific route that you want as well currently we'll just run it in the default mode so it like gives us good and it runs at port 9000 by default so let's just enter that now we start the test you'll see there's a stop button out here the reset starts like once the tests have run a time and then you want to like get, like get the stats okay so this is primarily currently checking too many fails because I'm running it on my local and I haven't set the file I know and all to match the kind of load it's getting so it's getting too many fields right now if I stop it I'll see 50% failure so if I ask it for a new test reduce the number of users to say 10 spawn rate to 1 which will again be like 10 seconds, start swarming. There shouldn't be too many fields now. 
the stella. So let's see what they are. So if we go to the test, let's stop the test first. I'll just quickly mark this thing to be on the top. Keep above this, okay. Yeah, I marked this terminal to be on top so I can always have a view of it. So, okay, it's giving us 200. Good, Let's see what it's not giving good for. So, if we go like a host. We got a good thing. Oh, so this is giving four or four. All right. I think it was just 200, probably. Yeah, 200. So let's update our tests. I wrote the wrong route here. We'll just fix this. No alert as you was uh, So that might be the reason that earlier. The we were getting like half failures primarily. Not my, but that was the reason that. Yeah. Silly mistakes. You must have seen, like, as soon as I said run the test again, it auto updated in the browser. We're ready for a new test. Let's try small 10 users, one second spawn rate. Hard ones. There shouldn't be any failures. We're running good, let's stop this. Let's try a lot more users again as we tried the first time. 100 users per second, raising to 1000. Spawn up. Zero percent failure, so. So localhost is like maintaining it, that's fine. Let's try a lot more, let's see if we can raise the stakes even higher. New test. Mailing users. 10,000. Or, yeah, 10,000 plus. Let's see. Bit time to spawn now. That's expected because there's too many users for a single bit. So we can run this in distributed mode as well, but that's not for today. We see like it's kind of not performing at all. Let's just stop this. Yep, let's reduce this 2000. Test one. Still stuck. Okay, let's see what message we are getting here. Your selected spawn rate is very high, like within 100, and this sometimes causes issues. Do you really want to amp up that fast? No. So, primarily, like if you run it in distributed mode, that's why the name is also called Locus because, like, it can run in a swarm as well. Should be good so basically if you wanted to run very high level too many users can run in distributed mode we'll cover that sometime later so this was for the studio bit let's go back here uh, we'll see the command it had to run it from the command as in the CLI run command for this somewhere here that command line usage yep there it is let's just copy this let's 
try this out. Could not find look. Oh, yeah, I took it the right file. That's right. It'll pick locals file.py by default if we don't give it a hyphen f. So let's give it simple HTTP. There it goes. With one user per second raising to 10. While it runs, let's just go here. We'll go to the WebSocket test the sample that's there. So we'll see this test, right? It's a simple test as for the simple HTTP test. It's importing time JSON, the task from locus, which the task are the actual performance test tasks that get run. And this WebSocket test, like it basically tries to connect to a WebSocket, sends a subscribe, take the heartbeat, and then back. All right, let's just stop this. Let's pull this file. I'll just quickly edit it. We'll be using a simple WebSocket bit, not the secure WebSocket thing. We'll run it locally as well. Uh, let's just call it 7001 uh, and a port 8080 if I remember. Let's just run this. We'll know ourselves. So I have a simple WebSocket service appear here. Oh no, this server yeah it's running port 8080 just opens a socket connection simply using the ws node.js package so let's just npm start it port is right 8080 yeah let's come down you are my number there let's just try running this for a while We need host here. No. Still, let's just update this. Don't want anything coming out. And let's just update this to server IOX. Fails. Must be for a package. Locus plugins. So let's just quickly. Install Lucas plugins, smooth as that, and as soon as we get it, we'll trigger our tests. So similar to this, like you can actually have different parts, you can write entire logic of, like of the exchange that you want with the WebSocket or any other stream that you're trying to connect to and get your tests performance of that particular resource let's just try running the same test again oh this is the install command now yeah there's the upsocket test running command it's failing again for some bit let's just see what power methods are you receive loop okay json decoder ah my bad there's no json to be used because it's a simple bit <laughs> All right, let's get rid of this. Let's see again. Okay, so it received true. Go to this file again once. This is my value, JSON loose message, self dot my value, JSON loose message. Oh yeah, this need to be a JSON to begin with. You're not sending any. Right. So let's just get rid of this. Oh, I 
past this head. Line two, oh, line two long up. That is sure. I get that. I can clean this up, but that's just what it is. Otherwise, you could have simply expanded it over a couple of lines. So I have like line two long arrows to be given if the line length exists 80 characters. That's just a best practice. So we see, we're getting this. You can increase the spawn rate, the users, and see how it behaves as well. Users 1000, spawn rate 100 users per second. You see, like the number of requests are increasing here every time that it's getting new one, it starts failing. Cool. Let's see at how many users it starts failing. Oh man, I'll have to scroll a bit. All right, let's just bring this baby up. Starts start failing very early then. Start failing after it had thousand requests, but like okay, it's kind of hit it marks mark there. Yeah, too many open files. So that then failed for the Golang base HTTP server for thousand users, but for new chairs, the base web server service start failing. So now we know like we are running it locally, that's the limit. Like we need to keep it very low or manage the file handlers for this. Cool. That's it for the locust now. We'll get captured in detail later again. Bye.